Hi, I'm Stephanie Wong, a developer advocate at Google Cloud. Now, at first, you might think I started my career as a software engineer or developer, but I didn't start with a computer science degree. Actually, I started out with a different kind of CS degree, communication studies. I thought I was going to go into the entertainment industry. If you're like me and you don't have a traditional computer science degree or tech background, here are some tips and guidance to go from a non-tech career to cloud. All right, step one, listen. First and foremost, before you dive into taking boot camps and becoming a self-taught developer, take the time to think about what part of cloud computing excites you and notice any industry trends like cybersecurity, ML AI, Kubernetes, or serverless technologies. Now, you might not know much about these topics, but do the research about the qualifications for each because this is going to inform your next step, where to invest your skills. Some of my favorite resources I continue to use even today include the Google Cloud blog and podcast, Screaming in the Cloud podcast, Cloud Wars podcast, Tech Lead Journal podcast, this YouTube channel, and there's many more. The key here is keeping your ear to the ground for major trends pushing industries forward. It's less about which cloud provider to learn, but more about asking yourself if you enjoy learning about information systems, data analytics, APIs, or cybersecurity. The goal is to find that magical bit of overlap between the technologies that are market movers and your interests. When I was in college, I got to learn about tech in my minor and analyze social media data. My first job out of school was related to analytics. But as I saw cloud computing start to explode, I totally shifted my focus to start learning about cloud databases and infrastructure. This is what led to me getting my eventual job at Google Cloud. Also, coming from a non-tech background doesn't mean becoming a software engineer is your only path in the cloud. There are so many roles in cloud and new ones popping up every day. You have customer or sales engineers, developer relations, which is what I do, solutions architects, UX, UI designers and researchers, product managers, and more. You might not realize it, but your non-tech background can actually give you an advantage for your career in cloud. For example, my communications background actually let me stand out in DevRel. Once I honed my technical skills over some years, my ability to distill complex topics and present on them publicly became a big value add. If you have sales experience, for example, it sets you up beautifully to become a sales engineer once you gain some experience with cloud technologies. Sales engineers work closely with sales reps with a common goal, to sell cloud tech to clients. If you do have coding experience, but you don't want to be a pure software engineer, it can actually give you an edge when it comes to other technical roles in cloud, like solutions architects, developer advocates, product managers, and customer engineers. My communications background gave me that ability to translate complex topics into simple and persuasive narratives. I also worked as a computer lab consultant so I could troubleshoot systems issues. My former experience set me up to become a sales engineer in tech because I could listen to customer pain points and translate cloud technologies to address gaps in their technical environments. I then became a cloud implementation engineer where I could use my lab experience to help onboard cloud clients and use my deductive reasoning to sh troubleshoot their issues. Your own unique skill stack is really your own Swiss army knife of skills that you can leverage in your next cloud job. Step two, learn. Once you have that settled, it's time to go all in on learning about the cloud and applying that knowledge. As someone without tech experience, your biggest weakness is your lack of experience. You need to start building a portfolio of work to show that you have the necessary skills to learn quickly, apply that knowledge, and grow in a quickly evolving space. There are many ways about this that are free. In fact, Forrest Brazil from our first episode of this series has created a cloud resume challenge to give you an effective way to learn a breadth of cloud concepts on each major cloud provider and apply that knowledge hands-on by building and hosting your resume in the cloud. By the end of it, not only do you learn fundamental concepts about cloud services like cloud storage, cloud functions, and Terraform, but you have a tangible piece of work that shows employers that you can succeed in the job. And hopefully this can inform where you want to specialize because specialization can also help you focus your attention to a particular area in cloud, like let's say DevOps tooling, 
and narrow your first job search. Boot camps and crash courses like Udemy and certifications are another great way to learn from a blank slate. Google Cloud offers a number of certifications like the Associate Cloud Engineer, and you can attend a full course to prepare for the exam by heading to our courses created on Pluralsight or Coursera. But heed my warning about both boot camps and certs. They give you a great understanding of cloud concepts and products, but they are not a replacement for experience. As they say, knowledge without action is futile. If you are aiming for a technical role, you must apply that knowledge by building something tangible, whether that is your own web app in the cloud, contributing to an open source project, or participating in an online data science challenge. And remember, you also can get $300 of Google Cloud credits. For all roles, it's also great to produce your own content about cloud, like blogs or videos covering your own projects or cloud case studies to set yourself apart as a thought leader. Check out my teammate Bukola, who created a YouTube channel teaching devs how to build a Spotify playlist generator and so much more. Her channel even helped her get a job here at Google Cloud. Your online presence is your resume these days. Don't let your lack of experience stop you from building your own body of work. Step three, connect. As someone coming from outside of tech, it's crucial for you to build your network. Joining a live course with class members is one way to meet others, but there are a number of free online and in-person meetups for the cloud industry. For example, on meetup.com, there are several meetups for Google Cloud enthusiasts in cities around the world that host monthly events. I have personally seen people learn, network, and get jobs through these meetups. Google Cloud Innovators is a program you can also join to network with other Google Cloud champions and get access to exclusive events. And leverage social media to post your work and network. But keep in mind that cold intros asking for jobs or mentors doesn't cut it. Be sure to partake in conversations online about cloud computing, meet others organically, and share your well-researched thoughts and questions before asking for mentorship or help. Remember, your career isn't just about the work you do, but about the relationships that you build. Step number four, break into cloud. Let's say you've got your first interview in cloud. This is where the real test comes in because your interviewer's initial perception of your lack of experience in cloud can be changed by your ability to sell yourself and your grit, your passion to learn, and your adaptability. Make sure that you are applying to the roles that fit your current skill set and where you want to head, and come prepared by practicing questions, coding interviews, and presentations far in advance. Hello, Leak Code! This is where a coach or mentor can really come in handy as they have invaluable insight on both the interview and the role. So in conclusion, listen, learn, connect, and break. Look, getting your first job post bootcamp, after becoming a self-taught developer, or deciding on a career change is really hard. But it will get so much better and easier once you gain experience and expand your network. So don't give up. I am living proof that those with interdisciplinary and non-traditional backgrounds can break into and flourish in cloud. So best of luck in your own journey. Like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more advice on how you can crack your cloud career.